Hey guys, welcome back to the Lee and Fee channel. Today I'm gonna do something I've never done before, something a little different. I'm gonna do a mukbang. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Hopefully I am. And like a story time. So I decided I'm in the mood. I have a taste for Sonic. So it's gonna be like a Sonic slash mukbang. Look at my David Bowie t-shirt. So cute. All right, so let's go to Sonic. All right, so I'm at Sonic. Um, I actually tried their app. I just realized they had an app so you can like order your food and then when you get here, you just say check in and then they bring it to you. So that's kind of cool. So we'll see. So I'm not gonna lie, that took a minute. I think they forgot about my order. So maybe Sonic isn't the best place to use the app, but I mean, it's okay. I wasn't like pissed or anything. My shake's a little melted. I'm a little pissed about that. But this is the Oreo peanut butter shake. So, mmm, it's really good. I love Oreos and peanut butter, seriously. I just got the mini, so yeah. So let's go home and do the rest of the video. All right guys, so I'm back. I drank most of my shake on the way home. I mean, it was really tiny, but guys, seriously, if you haven't tried the Oreo peanut butter master shake from Sonic, you haven't even lived yet. So it's delicious. All right, so, and now I'm like super thirsty, so I just grabbed the water, and, all right, so, I got a chili dog. I probably got way too much, but that's what you're supposed to do with a mukbang, right? You're supposed to have like more than enough food. Doesn't mean you have to eat it all, but. Okay, and then I got some wings. Oh my God. Sure. I got some onion rings. Sonic has the best onion rings. So real. Okay. And then French fries. So I got small onion rings, small French fries, um, a corn, not corn dog, a chili dog, and wings. So, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of awkward, right? To like eat on camera, but we're going to do it. So, um, oh shit, you didn't give me a fork. Okay, so I moved the camera just a little bit, so hopefully you can see a little bit better. Um, I got a fork, so, all right, so, oh, girl. Okay, so let's dig in. So, what I wanna talk, to, talk about in today's mukbang is Um, is talking about dealing with like hate. Now, this isn't necessarily just directed towards like, you know, if you're trying to start a YouTube channel or just trying to do like social media, because I know that's where the hate comments and stuff really are, you know, it's definitely a thing. But um, just really anything, if you've ever felt like giving up on something, don't. And let me tell you my story. So I've had my YouTube channel for not quite a year yet, it will be a year in um, November. So less than a year ago, I started my channel. And like I said, it was November. It was right around Christmas time. And I was like, okay, so it's almost Christmas time. Maybe I should do Vlogmas. And it would be, you know, some practice vlogging and just kind of like, you know, getting a feel for it. So I started doing that. And I actually had fun with it. like. Me and my friend Julie, we went to like Bath and Body Works, did some shopping together like on Black Friday. Other things like I would go to Dollar Tree, I would wrap gifts, I would do some cooking. And I also had like makeup videos in there, hair videos, whatever. It's just, I made it more like vlog style. So, and I, like I said, I actually had fun with it. And before I know it, um, Vlogmas is like half over and I start getting some negative feedback about my videos. Um, one, that they weren't interesting. Two, that um, I don't even remember exactly, but um, something along the lines of like, you're not famous, you're not YouTube famous, you shouldn't be making videos without makeup on or whatever. And I was just like, because the way I see it, why would you, why would you subject yourself to something 
that you don't like or something that you think is boring or stupid or not interesting, why would you subject yourself to it? You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of weird if you really think about it. Cause like there's plenty of things on social media that I think is stupid. But when I come across it on YouTube or on Instagram or wherever, because I think it's stupid, I just keep scrolling. I don't watch it, you know, whatever. So I don't know why people feel the need to interject their opinion on something that you're doing. You didn't ask for it. It's one thing if you ask somebody like, hey, you know, I'm doing this type of video, what do you think? But if not, like, keep it to yourself, you know? It's really hard to eat and talk at the same time. But this is really good. I'll give you guys a good, like, look of it. It's super messy. The only thing I kind of wish I had, which I do have, I just don't want to get up and get it, is some mustard. But it's still really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm definitely not going to eat all this food. But I had to get a little bit excess to be true mukbang fashion. You didn't give me any ketchup. This Sonic is slipping. No ketchup. <laughs> I was about to say no fork, but I just couldn't find the fork at first. Okay. So anyway, so once I started getting like that negative feedback, um, I started being, I started feeling self-conscious about my videos. And long story short, I stopped making YouTube videos for about, I want to say there was just a couple more days left of Vlogmas and I was just not, like I held out as long as I could, but I could tell like at the end there, after that happened, my video content, like the quality of it just went down because I wasn't confident in what I was filming and I felt like, oh my gosh, this is stupid or nobody wants to see me without makeup on so I'm not YouTube famous or whatever. Even went so far as I had done a video about like how I get exercise, which I do sometimes. Um, I use like a little stair stepper thing and it, I mean, it is legit exercise. It's not like going to the gym and like lifting weights or anything, but it is like actual, you know, cardio. So I had done a video about like, like what I do and you know, how it works for me or whatever. And somebody was like, you know, if you, if, um, if I'm going to watch a video about working out, I expect to see somebody that's fit. So it even went that far. Like, I mean, <laughs> so like I said, I had just stopped making videos for a minute. So Christmas came and went and I think I got up to I did film a little bit of Christmas Eve, but I didn't feel that good about it. I was still like in this dark place about my videos and stuff. And then after Christmas, I completely stopped. And I didn't start again till, gosh, after like probably almost two months. And it was just like dawned on me because, you know, I would think about it like, you know, I really did enjoy making YouTube videos and I had some ideas for things I wanted to film. And the ideas were still coming, but I was just like, no. I would talk myself out of it and I would rethink all those like hateful things. So I just did it. And I'm talking to my friend Julie about it. She was like, no, you have to go back and start doing them again. Like one person's opinion, it shouldn't matter. Like it's somebody you don't know, it's insignificant. So just keep doing it. So I started watching some, so what I did to get myself out of that funk was I started watching some of my favorite YouTubers and like their videos and just seeing like, okay, like the kind of content they're doing. Um, some of them do address like hate comments. Like, um, I remember right around that time, 
<laughs> I watched Jeffree Star's video and it was reading savage hate comments in ASMR. <laughs> it was so funny. And I remember like talking to my mom about it. And she was like, you see all this hate that he gets and he just takes it with a grain of salt and keeps on going. In fact, he makes videos reading these hate comments and gets even more views, more likes. So, I mean, it's not really hurting him in any way when people comment negatively. Um, that was something else my friend Corey, the one that was in my HelloFresh collab, he also said to me like, it doesn't matter what people are commenting, it only helps you. So, um, I was like, that's true. So I just kind of like worked up the courage again, started making, videos again and I kind of did change the direction of my videos like I really dialed it way back on vlogging like I just really don't vlog and I'm open to like I asked you guys in my last video um would you like to see vlogs maybe like shop with me I don't know because like I said I got negative feedback last time um but I did actually have one of my friends that I think watches my videos. I don't know like if they watch every single video, but they maybe have watched one or two. And he was like, "Yeah, I think you should do vlogging, like going to Starbucks or going shopping or whatever." I've had lots of people say I should do shop with me videos. So I think I would like to do vlogging again. I just don't I, I just I'm still like a little bit gun shy from what happened. So let me know in the comments. If you'd be interested in seeing vlog style videos again. Um, what type of vlogs? Or if there's any challenges or anything. I didn't realize how hard it was to do a mukbang. Like I see these videos. But man, it's hard to talk and eat. And you don't want to like be chewing with your mouth open and food rolling around. So anyways, better eat one of my onion rings. The Sonic onion rings are so good. Mm. They're like sweet and salty. So good. So. My advice, if you are a YouTuber or you're just starting off your channel like I am, I'm a very new, extremely new YouTuber and just because I experienced some of that um, negative part of it. Um, if that's something you're going through, my advice is just to not let it get to you. And I know there's so many videos of people saying that, but it's true. I mean, it's insignificant what somebody else thinks. Something isn't, there's nothing wrong with you. Like even if you want to do, like I'm sure some people think filming while you eat is stupid and gross and disgusting. And that's their opinion. In that case, they probably shouldn't watch mukbangs. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody is purposely watching or attending to something that they do not like, there's something wrong with them, not something wrong with you. So like some people film themselves playing video games on YouTube. That's not something I wanna watch, but if that's what that person, if that's what you like to do, just do it you're not hurting anybody so yeah you should have the support of your friends no matter what you know lean on them when you feel like giving up because that's what i did and i talked to my mom about it i would talk to my best friend julie about it and I, they would always tell me the same thing and it's i kick myself for it because i would let this one person's negative negativity get to me more than the people that I love most telling me like, no, don't stop, don't give up, keep making videos. I listen to that more, that negative ne negativity more than the people I love. And I don't know why we do that, but it's something that we do and it's something that I'm suggesting you don't do. So, you know, it is hard sometimes to come up with good content. Sometimes you'll have like a video, like my Bath and Body Works video, I've almost had 200 views on that. And that's, I mean, for me, that's a lot. So I have most of my other videos might have between like 20 and 30 views. So, I mean, that happens. You'll have some videos that get a lot of hits and a lot of people watch them. And then your next video might not get as many. 
Don't focus on the views, the likes, the comments. Focus on the content. That's something I'm still learning and I have learned, you know, every single video can't be the most exciting video you've ever put up. Um, I enjoy making the YouTube videos. My, what I love most is doing the makeup. And I know I'm not like a beauty guru, I'm not a makeup artist. It's just something that I really, really enjoy and I really, really love. Um, those are the videos that I get the least views on and the least likes. So, I mean, I take that into perspective. It doesn't mean that I shouldn't do it. It just means, you know, I need to maybe look at having other types of videos, maybe incorporating different things in those videos. It doesn't mean I shouldn't do them. I'm using this barbecue sauce since they didn't give me ketchup. So, yeah. I mean, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube video or a YouTube channel and you're just afraid of the hate that you're gonna get, just don't because it's gonna you're probably gonna get it no matter what not every single person is gonna think you're so cool you're so awesome and you know just have just anticipate that it's gonna happen at some point um you could always like if you're just scared at first you can always disable comments um that might help but definitely don't not do it because you're scared of somebody you don't know what they might think of you. And you know what? Sometimes I might want to make a video without wearing any makeup on. You know what? I, whatever. Sometimes I, you know, I work Monday through Friday, so obviously I'm getting ready. I'm doing makeup every single day. So no, I don't necessarily want to do that on every single video. But I was scared for a while because of the comments that I got. So, Anyways, that's really what I wanted to say. In a nutshell, do what you love, no matter what. Don't let anybody stop you, even if it's not even a stranger, because it might happen where people you work with, your friends, your family, they might, might not take you seriously or take this seriously and think like, that's weird, who wants to watch you eat? Or who wants to see you do this? Or who cares about that? And that's fine. Some people just don't understand. And that's okay. It is okay for people not to understand what you do, agree with what you do, like what you do, just don't stop. Even if it is like your best friend, your closest family member, you know, telling you the stuff, just try to not let it get to you. Just do you. Because at the end of the day, that's really all that, that's really the only person you have to impress is yourself. So, you know, and it is hard when you don't have like a huge support network Cause like my family's really small so i don't have like that many people who are like my ride or die friends or family who watch my videos no matter what will support me no matter what just because i have such a small family like my aunt my sister my daughter those are like my my hot network that watch my videos no matter what no matter what the content is they're always liking commenting you know you might not always have, you know, a big network like that. And that's unfortunate, but if you have one person who supports you and wants to see you do what you love, no matter what it is, lean on that person when you're in that dark place. So that's really what this video was about. Just dealing with hate and dealing with, you know, somebody not supporting you and your dreams and what you want to do so thank you so much for joining me for this sonic mukbang um i still got like i got half my hot dog half my wings so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to give video a thumbs up and subscribe bye hey 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 welcome back to the i don't know why i did that